I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians on the land on which Kilvington resides, the Bunurong people of the Kulin Nation. I pay my respects to elders past and present and acknowledge their ongoing and deep connection to the land and waterways in this area. Founded 100 years ago, Kilvington is a smaller co-educational school in Ormond, Melbourne, with approximately 830 students. We aim to equip our young people with the skills necessary to thrive in work and in life, and most importantly, to make a positive difference wherever they go. Our small classes and dedicated teachers ensure that our students all reach their academic potential. We're very proud that our NAPLAN results are consistently above the state average and that each year, 75% of our VCE students achieve in the top 25% of the state. We have enhancement and support programs to meet every student's needs. We also focus on equipping our students with essential skills in critical thinking, communication, collaboration and entrepreneurship to prepare them for the ever-evolving workforce that awaits them. Student wellbeing and personal development are at the heart of everything we do. Small mentor groups ensure that students are known and valued for who they are. We have a range of programs that focus on things like building resilience and confidence, respectful relationships, emotional intelligence, actioning character strengths and leadership. Community service is also an integral part of school life. Non nobis sed omnibus. Not for our own, but for others' good. This motto was established 100 years ago and still resonates so much in our community today. Enjoy the virtual tour and enjoy meeting some of our wonderful students and staff. Hi, my name's Lynn. I'm the director here at Kilvington Grammar ELC. We're very fortunate, we're part of the junior school here and it allows a seamless transition from ELC into the junior school. We offer a three-year-old kindergarten program that runs from two or three days per week. We also offer pre-prep programs that are offered from four or five days per week. One of the benefits of our ELC belonging to a school is we have many visitors that come and visit us. For example, our library educators share books and stories with the children either in the classroom or within the library itself. In pre-prep, the children are introduced to French and engage in an educational gym program called the Perceptual Motor Program. Your children will participate in music classes and exhibitions and performances. Your children will be supported in developing their inquiring minds and curiosity, communication skills, literacy skills, social and emotional development, STEAM and motor development. Our goal is to help children explore their interests, learn about the world around them and transition successfully to school. Welcome to Kilvington's Junior School. We offer classes from prep to year six with two groups at each year level and around about 230 students across our junior campus. You'll have just heard about our early learning centre which is physically connected to our junior school and that makes the transition for our pre-prep students into prep a seamless one. We teach the Australian curriculum and offer all of the standard core subjects but I think something that makes us a bit unique is the students access to specialist learning areas. These include science, digital technologies, library, art, music, physical education and French. Another thing that makes us unique are the co-curricular clubs and groups that our students have access to. Rather than me tell you about those, I'm fortunate to have a couple of students with us today, Dante and Chelsea, and they're going to tell us a little bit more. You guys are both involved in a wide range of co-curricular clubs and activities here at Kilvington. Dante, could you tell us a few of the things you do and why you enjoy them? Well, I do eSports, which is basically a gaming club we're doing Mario Kart and Rocket League this term. I also do robotics, where we build robots and enter tournaments. And I also do English Enrichment, which is basically a session where we can build on the English that we already do in class. And we go down to a room and we work on a task. Currently, we're trying to make our own Choose Your Own Adventure themed novel. Another opportunity I've had through the enrichment program is Future Problem Solving, or FPS, where we try and write a narrative 
that has a certain amount of words about trying to solve a problem that can occur in the future if we continue to follow current trends. Amazing, sounds great. And how about you Chelsea, what are some of the things that you like to do? I love going to French Cup and learning about new things about the French culture every week and uh, next term we will be going to order some French pastries. I also do I also play the cello in orchestra and it sounds amazing when we put a piece together and sometimes we even get to play with the senior orchestra which has some uh, great musicians. I also do aerobics every week and right now we're focusing on a routine that we will perform soon. I loved representing our school during swimming and I came first place for breaststroke so I went to the districts. I really enjoyed representing the school because I felt proud and I like having a challenge. Tell us a little bit about what it's like to be a part of our Kilvington community. Because Kilvington is a small school, I feel as though I know everyone and everyone knows me. The teachers are really supportive for our learning and well-being, so they genuinely care about us. The community almost feels like one big classroom. We're always le learning together. The teachers actually want to spend time with you. They want to help you learn. And the school gives you the opportunity to grow and develop your skills. If you guys were to describe our school community in one word, what would that word be, Dante? Compassionate. And how about you, Chelsea? Welcoming. Character is a real focus at Kilvington. We embed character into our culture through an explicitly taught curriculum and through dedicated time and having the opportunity to reflect on who students are as people and how they can be better people themselves. To best hear about this is to talk directly with our students who have experienced it. Thanks Maya, thanks Elijah for joining us this morning to speak about, I guess, some of the key aspects of the Year 9 Pro Impact Program. Let's start with the Friday program. We travel into the CBD. Well, the liftoff program happened uh, early term two. It's like your delayed introduction into the impact program to really get a sense of Melbourne culture and yeah. introducing you to the Monash program with a few days yeah. um, at Monash University. So. It, was, it was really good to get to know the Monash campus as well, because I think the whole focus of the liftoff week was to introduce us into the program so we didn't feel like we were being thrown in the deep end. And tell me what's been your favourite part of the impact program? Um, well for me I think it's definitely been probably the Friday experience um, as well as the uh, immersive camps later in the year but the um, Friday programs it just it was it's so different to your typical school environment but somehow still as beneficial, if not more. For me, the impact program, what really stuck with me is learning about social issues because my eyes were open to so many things I hadn't heard of before and right in the CBD, so things that directly affect us, directly affect people in Melbourne, I managed to really broaden my horizons through that. The Year 9 program focuses so much on self-discovery and learning yeah. how to lead. And I think without having that self-discovery, you can't truly lead others. So I think that was really key in leading into Year 10 and above. Now, Maya, Elijah, yeah. you both chose the Cape York expedition. What was it about the Cape York experience that made it so meaningful for you? For me, it was, you can't get that experience anywhere else. Um, learning about Indigenous culture and Indigenous food, Indigenous land. The group that I was in, we got to travel to a um, Indigenous Shire Council and it felt really special being invited onto that land, yeah. being taught how to use that land by um, the elders. So a really unique part of the Year 9 program is the social enterprise yes. where students work as a team, mm -hmm. they collaborate, and they are guided by Kilvington mentors and lecturers from Monash University. Yeah. No other school, I don't know if you knew this, yeah. but no other school in Victoria has a link with Monash University. Wow. The whole focus of the Monash program was to work towards 
building up a business and also to the end result, which was the expo evening. Everyone had a chance to present, so we had a few hours or an hour where parents could go around to different stands and look at the posters, which are behind us, and uh, groups got a chance to pitch their business to the parents. And then the seven key groups spoke in front of everybody. It was quite nerve-wracking, but such a good experience. I think we can both say from yeah. like from both what we've said that yeah. the Year 9 program it's really having helping us to not find us but find yeah. what we hold closest. It's very closest. helpful because yeah. as someone who really doesn't really know what she wants to do mm. just looking back on those experiences and what really motivated me last yeah. year and what motivates me this year is giving me an idea and I just it yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Our community service program is called HOPE, Humans of Purpose and Empathy. And our goals, we've got three goals of our community service program. They are to educate all our students about the different causes, to participate in a meaningful way with the organisations we support and to fundraise for those organisations. And we develop students of good character and that really aligns well with our community service program. In senior school, every year level is partnered with a different organisation. Our Year 7s, for example, are partnered with Eat Up, which provides sandwiches to hungry students across Victoria. As a whole school, we support the Asylum Seeker Resource Centre, and over the last five years, we've developed an extremely close relationship with the ASRC. I think the greatest impact that the program has on our students is that they can see that one person might not be able to change the world, but they can change someone's world. Here at Kilbington Grammar School we have a multi-tiered model uh, to support our gifted and talented students. These students are selected through a formal process. One of these programs is the EDGE program and I'm fortunate here today to have two of our EDGE students to share their journey um, and their opportunities as members of the EDGE program. Hi Liam, thanks for joining us. Um, you're known as an elite swimmer in our community. Tell us a little bit about what that entails as far as your training schedule and commitment goes. Yeah, I've committed to training at a national level. I compete in multiple national events a year. Now tell me, you're 24 hours, up to 24 hours a week. What does that entail? What does your day look like? Um, a lot of days I'll, I'll be training, so there'll be morning and night before school, after school. Tell me a little bit about how the school supports you um, to maintain your swimming program and your academic studies. Yeah, well obviously being in the pool a lot, I'm, I'm tired and I, I honestly don't really feel like doing schoolwork all the time, but the extra study sessions really help me. Now Alessia, you're an all-rounder in our community, um, you're talented and gifted in a range of areas. Tell me a little bit about the opportunities that Kilbington has provided you with. Yeah, um, Kilbington's definitely provided me with the opportunities to be able to like develop um, my interests. So from um, prep I started doing music and I was given lots of music opportunities throughout the school. Um, but as well as this I was given lots of academic opportunities. So um, I have a big interest in science. Um, mm -hmm. So I've been lucky enough to be um, chosen as part of the Victorian Bionics Institute program. Can you so, explain that a little bit? Because yeah, I'm sure. not quite sure. Yeah, <laughs> so what we do there. It's um, a program for like females in science and um, I get to work with a mentor who's an expert in her chosen field um, and I get to really learn about what she does. So I'm been paired with um, a dietitian. I get to follow her around, um, look at all the stuff she does from a scientific perspective and do my own research on um, the topic. Gifted and talented comes in many, many different forms and uh, we try to ensure that we cater for each and every individual um, through our programs and there is no one size fits all. We do work explicitly with the families, with the children involved to set goals moving forward to enhance and their potential and make sure that they can be the best people that they can be. Because it is a real relationship between the families and the school community in order to make the EDGE program successful. In Year 10, I started my Year 12 pathway by doing a 1-2 subject, so I'm doing Year 12 Psychology this year. As well as that, you quite have a quite heavy science load and passion. Tell us the other subjects you're studying this year. Yeah, so I've chosen maths methods, chemistry, physics and obviously English as well as psychology. And um, I'm quite glad I get to do these subjects because I do enjoy them and also my heavy training load hasn't like steered me away from choosing these subjects. 
because of the pathway I've been given. I don't have to worry about my academic side being compromised because of my swimming. With all these study sessions and help from teachers, I'm achieving quite well in school as well as achieving in the pool. So like the accelerated classes that I've been given the opportunity to be a part of, um, I'm part of methods. I'm in year 10 and I'm doing year 11 maths. I, I can get overwhelmed with all my schoolwork and extracurricular stuff. So it's really great to know that the teachers are always there for me to rely on, my mentor, and just even my class teachers will always help me, give me extra support if I need it. I really do like love being a part of this community and I think it is a really special school. It's the like overwhelming amount of support that I get from every aspect of the school. I'm very fortunate to work with exceptional students such as yourselves. Um, not only have you been in the pool early this morning, but you've also got an exam very shortly and, uh, and this just shows the calibre of students that we have here at Kilvington and I'm very proud of you and thank you for, for coming along. Respect is one of our values here at Kilvington and I can honestly say that I see that every day in the interactions between students and their teachers. There is a genuine desire to support one another as we work towards the common goal of supporting students with both their academic and personal potential. We are able to achieve this because of our deliberate decision to remain a smaller co-educational school of excellence. We know our students, something that we collectively and consciously strive to excel at. Given our size, you might question the breadth of opportunities provided here at Kilvington. However, this is not the case. Our students have access to enrichment programs, community service, overseas exchanges and trips. We are mindful of the gap that can exist from when students finish school and they move on to their next steps. To address this, we have developed the Kilvington Mentor Matching Program, where our former students come back and mentor our current students. This helps them with their transition from secondary schooling into life beyond school. We take very seriously the privilege and responsibility of providing your child with the best possible learning opportunities. And there is nothing more rewarding as an educator to witness your child's journey from a nervous newbie to a confident, respectful and compassionate young person. Uh, we joined the Kilvington community about two years ago. We found the school and particularly the teachers incredibly supportive and we've always found the, the teachers to kind of have like a really deep sense of care for the, for the girls which I think is quite unique um, at Kilvington. I think they talk a lot about, the school talks a lot about wellbeing uh, but you really see it play out day to day and Kilvington uh, puts a lot of emphasis on, on academic and, and also extra curricular activities. We found that our girls have really flourished with being able to participate in a whole diversity of, of activities. Uh, and I'd say also academically that it, it's really enhanced, um, I think, their, their ability to learn um, and particularly to learn new things, languages and, and arts, I think, in a way that they probably haven't experienced in the past. The Kilvington community is incredibly inclusive, uh, caring, uh, and certainly we've felt since we've been here uh, that they really open, uh, open up and, and welcome you in. I'm really proud to be part of this authentic and respectful community where relationships are key, diversity is celebrated and all students have their voice. We really do live our core values of respect, compassion, perseverance and curiosity. I look forward to welcoming you and your family to the Kilvington community soon.